What is going on everybody, Beast HD here and today I'm bringing you guys a quick and easy tutorial here on Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional looking 3D banner for your YouTube channel. And if you don't have Photoshop then I will stick a link in the description where you can get the trial version. It doesn't take too long to download and there's no viruses or anything poo like that. So yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into the tutorial now. So once you have Photoshop downloaded, open it up until you get to here. Once you're here, hit File, New. And what you want is your width to be 2560, make sure it's pixels, and your height to be 423, also pixels, that's very important, make sure it's pixels. Resolution 72 pixels per centimeter, RGB color, 8-bit white background, and then just hit OK. So we get this nice little template here for our YouTube banner. And then just hit File again and hit New once more. And we're going to make another template here, but this time the width is going to be 2000, what did I do there? 2048 pixels. The height will be 1152 pixels. Leave everything else the same and then hit OK. And we get a much bigger template that we are going to be using a little later on. But just come back over here to your first template and click back onto it. And um, so yeah, here we go. Now to get your text, you want to click this little T. Then to drag out the box, just left click on your mouse and you get a nice box here. <coughs> Sorry. So then just type whatever you want your banner to say. Um, you can use basically any font you want. Just make sure it's kind of a little bit bold like this and the letters aren't that close together because we're going to be putting it into 3D. So if your letters are really close, then you know it won't look that good. And I'm just going to change this to pink. So just highlight it, then go up here to wherever you see a color to change your text color. And then just hit OK and it will change for you. So to center this, go up to your first tool here. It's called the Move tool and you can move it around anywhere you want. Just move it a little bit away from the top and make sure there's about the same room here on the right and the left. About the same amount of white. And yeah, so once you have that centered nicely, it's looking well, then you go up to Type and hit extrude to 3D. Jesus, I cannot say that. <laughs> yeah, well anyway, and just let it Photoshop do its thing for a little bit, and there you go, it is transformed into 3D. So to move your text around now, you use these five little buttons up here. If you hover over them long enough, they tell you what they do. That's rotate, that's roll the object. So I'm just gonna go to rotate, and then drag it up a little bit like that, because I think it's cool if you can see the top of the letters, I don't know, I just always think 3D looks kind of cool like that. And then I'm going to move it up a little bit, like so, because we want a little bit of space down the bottom for later on. We're going to put a bit more text in there. So yeah, once you have your 3D kind of whatever way you want, you can play around with all these uh, buttons here. And so yeah, whenever you have it the way you want, come up to this white little circle thing here. It's called Infinite Light 1 and just click it once and you have this thing pop up but you want to come over here to where it says infinite light and then it says preset custom just click the drop down menu of custom and you have all these different lights things you can choose from like you can do blue lights um we'll make it do that and yeah you can play around with that if you want then to change that just hit one of the lights again and yeah you can play around with this like and just see what they all do but the one i'm going to be using the one i think looks best is called mardi gras I don't know, I just think it's cool. You have shadows in the letters, kind of the 3D is a different color to the face of the text. I don't know, I just think it looks cool. But you can pick one, whichever one you want. So yeah, once you have your 3D text like this, kind of, you know, whatever light you've chosen, just once you're happy with it, once you think it looks cool, it's now time to put a background in. And to put a background in, simple enough, all you have to do is head over to Google, just go to Google Images, and type in something like GFX background and just pick one you like. The background I am going to be using is called GFX Streak Flare Background. So just right click it and save it to wherever you want to save it. And once you've saved it, just go to it and then drag it straight into Photoshop, like so. And it'll just come in automatically. And then to move it, just click on the corners and drag it out. Make it a little bit bigger than the white box just so you have kind of room to move it around then after uh, we do what we're going to do next. So yeah, just have it a little bit bigger than the actual box itself. <coughs> 
oh, excuse me, but now there's a problem. We can no longer see our text. So to get our text above the layer, what we have to do is come over to where it says 3D layers and channels. Just click on layers and then move the street. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. First off, come up here to where your move tool again. Just click your move tool, then this will pop up. It says place the file, then just click place. You can't really do anything unless you do that. So sorry for forgetting about that one. And then uh, just click on your text layer once more, then drag your, Jesus, sorry, sorry, that. Drag your text layer up above your background. I was getting real confused there. I was getting flustered because I forgot that one thing. But anyway, yeah, so what you want to do is just click on your text layer and drag it up above whatever your background. My background was called streak flare, so it's there. So yeah, then your text will appear above your background, basically. I want to kind of move this background or move the background around a little bit. So to do that, just click on the background here, whatever your background is called, and then go to your move tool. I'm already on it. So I'm just going to move it down a little bit and kind of center. I want this kind of flare to be under the letters like so. So once you've done that, then we are basically sorted. So now I'm going to add in some logos, some Twitter logos, some Twitch logos, or whatever logos you want to add in. You can do as well if you don't have twitter and twitch then you can just skip this bit completely or you can just throw it in to make it look a bit cooler anyway so just go to google images once more and search uh, search for a twitter logo make sure it's a png logo so search for a twitter png logo png means that there is no background so look once i come in it is just the picture there's no white background so it kind of fits in perfectly so then just scale it to whatever you want oh my god come on move over so there we go. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So yeah, and then go to your move tool, click your move tool once more, place the file we want to place it. There we go. And I am also going to throw in a Twitch logo. So once again, just or left click it, drag it straight into Photoshop, then move it to wherever you want. Use these little corners and stuff to resize it to whatever you want to resize it to, and then drag it to wherever you want it to be. And luckily for me, my Twitter and my Twitch or my Twitter and my Twitch username is the same thing. So I'm going to put that in under the beast there. So once again, we hit our text tool. Place. I keep forgetting that. I'm very sorry. And I want this one to be red, not pink. So yeah, I'm just going to make it red. So once again, we drag out our box. Then come up here to where it says 150 PT point, whatever. I don't really know what it means, but can't remember what it stands for and make it about 50 and then type in whatever you want to type in my username is I B S I H D. so there we go then to move this around just click your move tool once again and drag it to wherever you want to drag it to Man. so there we go but that looks a bit stupid you know because I have the 3d text here and then I just have this kind of shitty little red text here so I'm gonna make this 3d as well so once again type extrude to 3d and i'm not actually going to do anything to this because i kind of want the focus to be on this beast here so i'm just going to leave it like that and then that's basically what it looks like so you can also go onto google and just find more things for your background just type in gfx pngs make sure they're png though so it won't have a white background and look stupid so uh i don't know i'm just going to use this I just found this on my actual I just found this earlier on my computer it's just a few lines but it kind of adds a little something more to the image but uh, don't put too much things on it I kind of think simpler is better to be honest I do graphic design in college and that was basically the first thing we were told is if it looks good then simpler is better <laughs> so there we go I'm going to just leave my whole thing like this because I think it looks nice it's nice and simple have the twit or Twitter logo, Twitch logo, and my uh, Twitter and Twitch username. Then I have my whole thing here, Beast. So now what we're going to do is just go to File, Save As, <coughs> excuse me, and save it as a JPEG. So just click the drop down menu, Save as JPEG. Where is it saving to? Okay, there we go. And then just click Save. I do want to replace it. And then have your quality to either high or maximum. It doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. I just have mine on maximum because my computer is okay and it can handle it. So now that we have that done, you want to come over here to the other uh, template we have. So just come up to the top where you can see the two of them and just click on the other template. And go back to wherever you saved your background 
and drag your background in and just make sure your background your background probably should resize automatically to fit the whole screen but if it doesn't then just use the move thing to you know move it there and then once you have that done go to wherever you saved your banner that you just made and drag your banner in come on bro oh i have to sorry place this i cannot remember to do that can i so yeah place so yeah go to wherever you've saved your banner and just drag it in and it will actually go into the middle on its own so there we go because youtube is stupid you can't just upload the banner you have to upload a whole picture as well but i think this is the easiest way to do it so basically if anyone comes onto your channel then they're only going to be able to see this part the part that you made but if someone comes onto your channel on a tv then they'll see this picture but like nobody's really going to go onto your channel on a tv i don't think <laughs> oh well it doesn't matter so once that's done then file save as again just save your picture then head on over to youtube and upload it and this is what it should look like so there we go that's my finished product there i've already done this and i've uploaded it so i really hope you've enjoyed if you'd like me to make another kind of tutorial a more in-depth like one where i make a better banner background basically and I, i'll show you how to make logos and stuff then leave a like and a comment if you have any problems as well you can feel free to leave a comment and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.